The United States has just made a major decision in the Ukraine war. President Joe Biden has lifted restrictions allowing Ukraine to use American-made long-range missiles inside Russian territory for the first time. But why now? And what could this mean for the conflict? This move comes just weeks before Biden leaves office and follows intense Russian missile and drone attacks on Ukraine. The Kremlin is furious, accusing Washington of escalating the war. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov warned that this decision signals direct US involvement, echoing earlier concerns raised by President Vladimir Putin. So what exactly are these missiles? They're called ATACMS or Army Tactical Missile Systems, developed in the 1980s. These weapons can strike targets up to 300 kilometers or about 190 miles away. They're launched using systems like HIMARS, which the US sent to Ukraine last year, or M270 launchers provided by the UK. Until now, Ukraine only had access to shorter range versions of these missiles. The longer range capability allows them to hit deeper inside Russian territory, targeting critical supply chains and troop concentration. Let's talk about why this is significant. Experts say these missiles could disrupt Russian military operations and give Ukraine a stronger position in any future peace talks with the Russian forces and North Korean troops concentrated in the Kursk region Ukraine now has the tools to strike where it matters most. But why did the US decide to act now? Well, this change follows recent developments in the war. In August, Ukrainian forces advanced into Russia's Kursk region, an area now hosting around 12,000 North Korean troops, according to US and South Korean officials. These troops are reportedly supporting Russia, which has also received weapons from Pyongyang. For months, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has been urging Western allies, including the US, to allow the use of long-range missiles against Russian targets. Until now, Ukraine was only allowed to use these weapons outside Russian territory. President Biden's decision, made with just weeks left in his term, raises questions about future US support for Ukraine. His successor, President-elect Donald Trump, has promised to negotiate an end to the war. But will this shift in leadership change how the US engages with the conflict? Now, let's look at how both sides have responded to this. Zelensky welcomed the decision. In a recent address, he hinted at Ukraine's new capabilities, saying, strikes are not made with words. The missiles will speak for themselves. Russia, however, has strongly condemned the move. Officials claim it risks dragging the US further into the conflict and increasing global tensions. Some have even raised fears of a wider war. Putin has warned before that the use of long-range missiles in Russian territory would force Moscow to respond decisively. And lastly, what happens now? Experts predict intensified violence, especially in the Kursk region where both sides have amassed troops. Ukraine could use its new missile capabilities to strike Russian supply lines and weaken its offensive capabilities. Meanwhile, President-elect Trump has pledged to prioritize peace, but it's unclear how soon negotiations could begin or how effective they will be. For now, the war continues to escalate, with Ukraine preparing to capitalize on its new capabilities and Russia ramping up its attacks. The next few weeks could be critical in shaping the future of this conflict.